Maybe in a position where for some reason you keep getting this little pop-up that says cellular update failed. Now the reason why this is happening, it may be due to a faulty iPhone issue on your device, but usually that's not 100% quite the case. It's most likely happening just because you may have inputted your SIM card in wrong and may be having an issue there, or the phone that you're actually using may not actually be suitable for your specific carrier. So the first thing I'd recommend doing is understanding which specific carrier you have, T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, whoever it is, and you want to make sure the phone that you're using also is suitable for those specific networks. So if you click on about, if you type in, you know, I think you can type in your serial number or your model number or your IMEI number, you may want to put that into a, you know, IMEI checker of some sort online, making sure the phone is accurate in that specific, you know, making sure your specific device is compatible with that specific network, and that should probably fix the situation for the most part. Now, if that doesn't seem to work for some sort of reason, the next thing I would recommend doing here is actually going through and updating your device. So sometimes it's as probably as easy as that. All you have to do is make your way over to your iPhone settings like this, scroll down until you find general, which is right there. Go ahead and click on software update right up there, and you'll basically see if an update is available. If there is an update available, then you can go ahead and just update your device, and that should end up fixing the problem. If for some reason that doesn't work, you can try restarting your phone. So go ahead and just restart it like this, slide the power off, power back on, and you may just want to see if that ends up working as well. Now, if that doesn't end up working, I'd recommend taking out the SIM card from your device, putting it back in, that may end up working as well. If that still doesn't work, you may want to go ahead and back up your phone, maybe try an iTunes Restore, I've heard that may end up fixing it too, but those are pretty much probably the main ways you can go and fix this specific problem. If you have, have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.